or bring both hands out to your sides. We're going to go into speaker view and here, and I'm going to mute everyone else. If you have a question, take yourself off mute and feel free to take a shout at me. Otherwise, woo, big inhale through your nose. Big exhale through your mouth. Deep breath in through your nose. Big breath out through your mouth. One more big inhale through your nose. Go all the way up. Open your mouth and let it go. Open your arms out to the sides. Stretch through your fingertips. Feel your forearms lengthen. And then reach behind you. Interlace your hands and flip your palms open to the space at the back of your mat. Take a big inhale as you open the rib cage. And then exhale, cactus your arms. One more inhale here, stretch through the fingertips, through the front of the shoulders, and exhale, reach down around and close your knees like a book. Gently draw your knees up into your chest, and then gently rock side to side. Circle your knees around, and around, maybe in a figure eight, Lift your nose to your knees, pull your knees to your chest. Take a deep breath in as you fill and exhale, release. Plant your hands at your sides, heels in front of your sits bones. Lower the head, neck, and shoulders before lifting your hips up to the sky for bridge. Take an inhale, lift your hips a little higher. And exhale, unroll your spine back down to the mat. Draw your knees to your chest, lift your nose to your knees. Take a big breath in, hug tight. And exhale, release and extend your left heel to the end of your mat. Hug your right knee into your chest, lower your shoulders. Circle the right knee around three times. And then go the other direction three times around. Open the right knee to your right armpit. Feel the opening across the front of the hips, the groin. Big inhale. And exhale, guide your right knee up and over. Ooh, ooh. My spine, snap, crackle, pop to the left side of your mat. Reach your right fingertips away from the body. Turn your chin towards the right hand. Draw the right shoulder down to the mat. Take one more big inhale. And exhale, reach your right arm around the back of your space. Feel the shoulder joint circulate and bring your right knee into your chest. Give it a squeeze. Bring your left knee into your chest. Give it a squeeze. Lift your nose to your knees and your knees to your nose. Release and extend your right heel to the end of the mat. Lower head, neck, and shoulders. Circle your left knee around. I feel like this is always kind of how I start practice, but y'all, I feel like it really helps later. Go the other direction with your circles. Get into that hip joint. And then use the left hand to open the left knee wide. Feel the groin open. Flex the left toes. Take a big breath in. And guide the left knee up and over to the right side of your mat. Tuck the right hip under and then extend the left fingertips out. Take a big inhale and a big exhale. Big inhale and big exhale. One more inhale. Exhale, sweep your left arm around the back of your mat. Notice the shoulder joint, that full range of movement. Well, fine. Give the left knee a big squeeze in. Bring your right knee up to meet the left this time. Open your knees a little wider. Find like a modified happy baby. Flex both toes up to your nose. Bring your hands to the inside of your knees. Take a big inhale. And then exhale, close your knees back together like a book. Lift your nose to your knees and your knees to your nose. And exhale, plant your hands at your sides, heels in front of your sits bones. Lift your hips to the sky for bridge. Lift your right leg up to the air. And then slowly drop the hips. Tap the tailbone for one. Inhale, lift back up. Exhale, drop the tailbone for two. Inhale, lift back up. Press through the sole of the left foot. Exhale, drop the tailbone for three. Two more. Inhale, lifting up. Press those hips up. Exhale, drop the tailbone. And one more. Lifting up. Cross the right ankle over the left thigh this time. Open the right knee forward. And now unroll the spine back down to the mat. 
You can take a moment. If you feel like you've got more twisting to do in the lower back, to rock side to side. If you're ready to get right into the hips, feel free to draw the left knee up into your chest and interlace your hands behind the left thigh. Big inhale. Pull the knee down, exhale. Big inhale. Pull the knee down, exhale. Feel that right hip opening. Keep the knee pressed away from the torso. One more inhale. One more big exhale, big squeeze. Inhale, extend the left heel up to the sky. Notice that hamstring lengthening before planting the left foot down in front of your left sits bone. Take a moment, extend the right heel up to the sky and then plant the right foot down beside the left. Hands come back to your sides. Lift your hips to the sky for bridge. And then lift your left heel up into the air, flex the toes, feel the hamstring. Inhale, lift the hip bones up. Exhale, drop the tail for one. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, drop your tail for two. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, drop your tail. I guess I shortened tailbone to tail. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, drop for four. Last one, inhale, lift up. Exhale, cross the left ankle over your right thigh. Press the left knee forward and then gently unroll your spine back down. Feel that left hip start to open. Gently rock side to side if that serves you. You'll know when you're not really feeling it. You'll know if you are. When you're ready, draw the left knee up into your chest. Interlace your hands behind, or right knee into your chest. Interlace your hands behind the right thigh. Take an inhale. Exhale, hug it down and in. Inhale. Exhale, hug it down and in. One more inhale. One more big squeeze. Inhale, extend the right heel up to the sky. Notice that hamstring. Plant the right foot down in front of the right sits bone. Inhale, extend the left leg up to the sky. Flex the toes and plant the left foot down in front of the left sits bone. One last bridge. Lift your hips and heart to the sky. Roll your shoulder blades down your back. Option to lift to the tips of the toes. Press the hip bones up, up, up. And then gently unroll all the way back down. Hug your knees to your chest and begin to rock forward and back and forward and back. Take one more rock forward. Cross your ankles, plant your palms. Step up or float your feet to the back of the mat to high plank. Stack the shoulders over your wrists, heels over your toes. Feel free to adjust here for a moment. Take an inhale. Exhale, lower halfway down. Inhale, rise all the way up. Exhale, lower halfway down. Inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, ground into the right palm. Turn your heels to the right. Lift your left arm to the sky for side plank. Deep breath in. Big breath out. Big breath in. Big breath out. Take your left hand, scoop it under you. Inhale, rise tall. Exhale, scoop it under you. Inhale, rise tall. Find the high plank at center. Big breath in. Lower halfway down. Inhale all the way up. Exhale, lower halfway down. Inhale all the way up. Exhale, press into the left hand. Turn your heels to the left. Extend your right arm up to the sky. Big breath in. Big breath out. Feel the stack finger over shoulder, over shoulder, over palm. One more inhale. Exhale, sweep the right arm underneath you. Big oblique turn. Inhale, sweep it up. Exhale, big move underneath you. Inhale, rise up, lift those hips. Exhale, find your high plank. I'm not gonna make us do any more half push-ups. Inhale, lengthen the spine, and exhale, lower all the way down. Untuck your toes. Bring your big toes together. Take a moment, lift up for cobra. Roll the shoulders down as you lift the crown high. So just because your head lifts doesn't your shoulders lift two, drop them, bend the elbows, squeeze the elbows into the rib cage. Inhale, lift the heart. Exhale, little twist to the left. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, little twist to the right. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, circle your head around clockwise. Inhale, lift the chin. Exhale, circle around counterclockwise. Inhale, lift the chin. Exhale, gently unroll. Bring your hands back a little bit and then press up into a tabletop. Stack your shoulders, over your wrists, hips over your knees, drop the belly, lift the crown of the head, spread the sits bones open wide. As you draw your shoulder blades back your heart through your biceps, exhale, press the mat away. 
Chin to chest, belly to spine, create that big arch. Inhale, drop the belly, lift the crown of the head, open the heart up. And exhale, press the mat away, chin to chest, belly to spine. One more, drop the belly, lift the crown of the head up. Exhale, chin to chest, belly to spine. From here, tuck your toes, press your hips back and down to your heels. Feel the backs of your ankles open, your feet open, and when you're ready, lift your tailbone up to the sky, and then lower your heels down. Three breaths here. Big breath in, and out, and in, and out. One more inhale. One more big exhale, pull the belly button up into your spine, and then walk your hands back to your feet. Uh, hopefully everyone was actively listening. It's opposite. We're at the back of our mat. Find a nice long halfway lift, flatten the spine. And exhale, gently forward fold. Inhale, root to rise. Keep your arms up to the sky. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale through your nose. Big exhale through your mouth. Take a moment to notice that while you stand in this place, you have an opportunity to be grateful. While you stand in this place, you can also keep an open heart and optimism about what's to come. Take an inhale through your nose. Open your mouth, let it go. Sweep your arms up to the sky, grow tall, grow long, and then grab the left wrist and lean to the right side of your mat. Inhale, rise up, lift tall. Exhale, switch wrist, lean to the left side of your space. Inhale, rise up, lift tall, open the heart as you reach back. Exhale, softly forward, fold. Drop the crown of the head, bring your gaze between your legs. Halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, walk your hands out in front of you. Take an inhale here, high plank. Exhale, chaturanga, lower down. Inhale, lift your heart either to cobra with hips and thighs grounded or up dog with hips and quads lifted off the mat. Downward facing dog, lift your hips. Take an inhale. Take an exhale. Inhale, lift to your toes. Exhale, bend your knees. Step up or float your feet up to your hands. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. We're now at the top of our mat. Root to rise. Sweep your arms up to the sky. Exhale, Uttatasana, low chair pose. Take an inhale. Exhale, drop the tailbone a little more. Inhale, lift the heart. And exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, ground your palms. Step hop or float the feet back to high plank. Chatter and lower down. Inhale, scoop your heart up and through. Exhale, find your downward facing dog. Take an inhale and an exhale. Inhale, lift your tailbone up. And exhale, walk your hands back to your feet. Back of the mat, forward fold. Halfway lift. Forward fold. Root to rise, keep it up to the sky. Grab the left wrist and lean to the right. Inhale, rise up tall. Switch wrist, lean to the left. Inhale, rise up tall, reaching back, lift your heart. Forward fold, let it go, drop that head. Halfway lift, flat the spine. Exhale, walk your hands out in front of you to high plank. Inhale for length. Exhale, chattering the lower down. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a big breath in and a big breath out. Inhale, lift to your toes. Exhale, bring your feet up to your hands. Forward fold at the top of your mat. Halfway lift. Forward fold. Root to rise. Keep your arms up to the sky. Utkatasana, hands in prayer. Take an inhale. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Inhale. Hook your right elbow on the outside of the left thigh. Big twist. Big inhale. Big exhale. Drop your tailbone. Inhale. Reach the crown of the head forward as you pull the tailbone back. And then shift your weight into the left foot. Lift the right toes off the mat. And if you fall, it's okay. It's just yoga. Deadly when you're ready. Stab your foot to the back of the mat. Crescent warrior rise up. Big breath in. Ground the right palm down in line with the left foot. Easy twist. Really open up wide here. Big inhale. Exhale, ground the left palm. 
Pull the hands back for a wide pyramid pose. Flex your left toes to your nose. Your hands can come to blocks. You can come to the tips of your fingers. Pull your belly in and try to lower your forehead to the left shin. Big breath in. Big breath out. Big breath in. Big breath out. One more inhale. One more complete exhale. Start to lunge forward into the left foot and softly step the right foot up to meet the left. Halfway lift, flatten the spine. Forward fold, let it go. Inhale, root to rise, keep your arms up to the sky. Exhale, hands in prayer, Utkatasana. Going towards the other side, squeeze the shoulder blades together, pull the belly up and in. Big breath in. Hook that left tricep on the outside of the right thigh. Press palm to palm, find length in the spine. Big breath in. Press down into the right foot and flamingo or lift the left toes. Shoot the left foot to the back of the mat. Big inhale for the twist. Big exhale, sink the hips. Inhale, crescent warrior, rise up, lift the arms. And exhale, circle the left palm down to ground beside the right foot. Easy twist, big breath in, big reach. Exhale, ground the right hand down. Pull your tailbone back. Flex your right toes to your nose. Three breaths. Ooh, that right hamstring go. Big breath in. Big breath out. Drop your forehead. Ryan Brown, every time I do hamstrings, I'm thinking of you, girl. Big breath in. Big breath out. I feel like we're the same in that way. One more inhale. One more big exhale. Inhale, shift forward into your right foot and step your left foot up to meet the right. Inhale, halfway lift, flatten the spine. Notice that your hamstrings are opening slowly here. Forward fold, let the head go. Root to rise, arms to the sky. Exhale, hands to prayer, Utkatasana. One more time, each side. Inhale, lift your heart. Exhale, hook the right tricep on the outside of the left thigh. Here's your chance to stick that balance in case you lost it the first time. Shift your weight to the left foot. Flamingo the right toes. Extend the leg and then step the right foot to the back of the mat. Inhale. Exhale, twist. Inhale, press the warrior, rise up, lift the heart, and exhale, circle the right hand around and down. Easy twist, big reach in the left fingertips. Exhale, left hand grounds. Straighten the front leg, pull your tailbone back, drop the right heel down, big breath in. Drop your forehead. Big breath in. Drop your forehead. One more inhale. One more exhale. Shift forward into the left foot. Step the right foot up to meet the left. Halfway lift, flat back. Forward fold, let it go. Root to rise, arms to the sky, grow tall. Hands to heart center, Utkatasana. Inhale, lift your heart. Exhale, hook that left foot around the outside of the right thigh. Big breath in. Press down in the right foot. Lift the left toes off the mat. Extend the left leg back, and then step the left leg back. Hold for the inhale. Twist on the exhale. Inhale, reach your arms up to the side. Crescent warrior. Ground the left palm beside the right foot. Inhale for easy twist. Big reach back and around. Exhale, ground the right fingertips down. Straighten your front leg and pull the hips back. Drop the left heel down towards the earth. Big breath in. Lower your forehead. Big breath in. Try to drop your forehead. One more big inhale. One more big exhale, pull that right hip back. Inhale, shift the weight forward. Exhale, left foot meets the right. Halfway lift, fly back. Forward fold, let it go. Three breaths here. Feel free to fold your arms. I like a pretty deep bend in my knees. I'll rock side to side. Make sure that you're not holding on in your neck, so if it helps you to bring your hands behind your head, or to the nape of your neck, feel free to go there. Maybe you give yourself a little like fingernails into the scalp thing. I used to have a Swedish au pair who would do that to us, like crack an egg on our heads. Divine, oh my gosh, divine. Inhale, half a lift. Exhale, forward fold. Root to rise, keep your arms up to the sky, really lift your heart. Exhale, cactus the arms. Lift through the heart, center the sternum, lift your chin, interlace your hands at your lower back. If you can't, can't, feel free to bend the elbows and can take opposite ribs. Inhale to lift the heart high. Exhale, start to bend the knees, sinking the tailbone down. 
Arms are either caught wrist to wrist or fingers are interlaced, lift the heart. Big inhale here, really pull the shoulder blades together as you push the chest forward. Exhale, drape the torso over the thighs, drop the crown of the head down, and then keeping that connection of heart to thighs, slowly start to straighten your legs. Tuck your chin under, lift your tailbone up, shift the weight a little bit to the balls of your feet, engage your triceps, one more inhale. Exhale, fold deeper, release your arms, halfway lift, flat back, forward fold, ground your palms, step up, or float the feet back, chaturanga, we're back to chaturangas, hooray, open your heart, downward facing dog, big breath in, big breath out, inhale, lift your right leg up to the sky, drop that left toe down so you feel the left hamstring, Bend the right knee, stack your hips, circle the right knee around. And then go the other direction. And then straighten the right leg up, square your hips, dial the right pinky toe down, pull your knee to your nose, shift forward, step the right foot to your right thumb, tip the left heel down, warrior one, rise up. Big breath and lift your heart. Exhale, cactus your arms. Interlace your hands and get at your lower back, your variation. Press your knuckles to the space behind you. Press the heart up to the sky. And then lunge forward for a humble warrior. Drop the crown of your head down. Big breath in. Big breath out. One more inhale. Sink down into it on your exhale. Inhale, square the hips. Release the arms. Reach your fingertips forward. Pull your hips back. And then straighten the right leg. Level out the torso with the earth as much as you can. Big breath in. Pull the belly up. Inhale, rise all the way up. Exhale, cactus the arms, lunge forward, warrior one with bent elbows. Inhale, straighten the arms, lift up. Exhale, cactus the arms, warrior one. Inhale, straighten the arms, lift up. Last one, cactus the arms, really squeeze the shoulder blades and the triceps. Now stay low in the knee. Straighten just the arms up. Inhale, lift your chin, lift your heart. Exhale, ground the palms. Right foot steps back to left. Maybe it hovers this time as you lower down. Upward facing dog, lift your heart, squeeze the shoulder blades together, elbows in tight. Downward facing dog, lift your hips. Big breath in, big breath out. Inhale, lift the left leg up to the sky. Dial the pinky toes down as you drop the right heel down. Bend the left knee, stack the hips. Find a circular movement, and then go the other direction. Inhale, straighten the left leg up, square the hips again, dial the left pinky toe down, scoop your knee up to your nose, and then step your left foot to your left thumb. Pivot the right heel down, stay low in the base, square in the hip, warrior one, rise up. Big breath in, lift your heart. Exhale, cactus your arms, really feel the shoulder blades squeeze together, interlace your hands at your lower back. Inhale, press the heart up, lift the chin up. Exhale, humble warrior, fold forward, stay low in the base. Drop the head, big breath in, big breath out. Big breath in, big breath out. One more inhale, one more exhale. Release the arms, reach forward, inhale, square the hips. Straighten the left leg out, level the torso with the earth, pull the belly up, big inhale. Strong exhale. Inhale, rise all the way up, legs are straight, arms are straight. Exhale, bend the knees, bend the elbows. Inhale, rise up and reach, gaze full as the fingers. Exhale, cactus the arms. Inhale, rise up and reach. Exhale, cactus the elbows. One more, rise up and reach. Exhale, cactus the elbows, stay low in the hips. Straighten just the arms, inhale. Exhale, ground your palms down. Left foot steps back to right, maybe it floats as you try to round that lower down. Open the heart, upward facing dog, squeeze those elbow tips in. Downward facing dog, lift your booty up to the sky. Pedal your feet side to side. Big breath in, big breath out. Big breath in, lift your toes. Exhale, bend your knees. Step up or float your feet your hands. Halfway lift, flat back. Forward fold, let it go. Inhale, root to rise, sweep your arms up to the sky. Exhale, forward fold, let it go. Take a moment here, big inhale, big exhale. 
Walk your hands out in front of you. Shift the weight towards the balls of your feet, not intentionally lifting the heels, just shifting the weight forward. And then walk your hands around to the right side of your mat, bend the left knee and feel the right IT band as you drop your head. Big breath in. Left knee is really bent, right leg is really straight. Inhale, straighten both legs. Walk it back out to the top of your mat. Weight is in the balls of the feet. Exhale, walk it around to the left. Bend the right knee, drop the head. Fold the chin to the chest. Big inhale. Big exhale. Inhale, walk your hands back out in front of you. Feel that reach, pull the tailbone back. Your fingertips forward, long spine, long neck. Big inhale. And soft, bend in the knees, forward fold. Root to rise, keep your arms up to the sky. Take that big heart opening lift. And now release the arms, let the throat go, back bend. Inhale from the core, rise back up, stack shoulders over hips. Forward fold, let it go. Last sun salutation. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, bound your palms. Step hop or float the feet back, chatter on the lower down. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your right leg to the sky. Exhale, bend your knees, stack your hips, either circle or flip your dog all the way over. Inhale, big reach, big heart opening. And exhale, take it back around. Inhale, lift the right leg up. Right knee comes to right tricep. Option to create a shelf with the elbows and then lift the left leg off the mat. Inhale, lift your right leg to the sky, three leg down dog. Right knee to left tricep, hold here, feel the twist, and then extend the right leg out. Either keep the foot lifted or ground it down. Fall and star, big inhale. Exhale, circle the left hand around. Inhale, right leg lifts up. Exhale, step the right foot between your hands. Crescent warrior, rise up. Big breath in. Exhale, hands to heart center. Big breath in. Exhale, hook the left tricep on the outside of the right thigh, feel the twist. Big breath in, drop those hips, open your wings, sink the hips, inhale, rise, stay revolved, exhale, use the obliques to twist, reach back on the right fingertips, lift your left arm to the sky, big inhale, exhale, circle around, easy twist, big breath in, really reach for it, exhale, ground the right fingertips, pull the tailbone back, drop the left heel, Wide pyramid pose, flex your right toes to your nose. Big inhale, big exhale, big inhale. One more big exhale. Inhale, shift forward into the right foot. Crescent warrior, rise up. Warrior two, pivot around. Roll your shoulders down your back. Draw the shoulder blades in. Your gaze comes forward. Take a deep breath in. Drop your tailbone down. Inhale, reach forward, flip your palm. Exhale, reverse your warrior, reaching back, long side body. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, extended side angle, three breaths here. So go where you want to go. Maybe half bind, maybe full bind, maybe bound triangle. Take an inhale and an exhale. Inhale and an exhale. One more inhale. One more exhale, active listening, straighten the front leg, drop the right fingertips down, open the left arm, tree canasana, triangle pose. Big breath in, big breath out. Big breath in, lift the chin. Big breath out, engage that left oblique. Inhale, rise all the way up. Turn your right toes to face the long side of the mat. Lift your heart, lift your arms, and then flat back, forward fold. If you've been loving those binds behind your back, feel free to take it again here. If you love an eagle arm, feel free to take it here. Forward fold, drop it down. Eagle arm would have been a good choice because we are going to go into eagle next. I say next. Next-ish, but it's coming, y'all. Big breath in. Big breath out. Big breath in. Big breath out. Walk your hands out in front of you. Lengthen the spine. Draw your arms out to a strong T, and then rise all the way up. Pivot to the back of your mat, warrior two. Big breath in, circle around, crescent warrior. Big inhale, lift your heart. 
Exhale, find your warrior three. Hands can stay lifted or they can come into heart center. I will tell you, lifted is harder. Big breath in. Warrior three. Press into the left foot as you lift the right leg. Big inhale. Big exhale. Really drop the chest down. Inhale and exhale. Actively reach through the fingertips. One more inhale. One more exhale. Inhale, rise up. Bring your right knee into your chest. Hook the right knee over the left leg. The higher and tighter you get the first bind, the easier the second bind becomes. And then hook the right arm underneath the left arm. Bind palm to palm if that's accessible, or go to your shoulders if that's where you are today. Again, the higher and tighter the first bind, the easier the second bind. Three breaths here, inhale, and exhale, and inhale, and exhale. One more inhale, press the palms hard together, feel the shoulder blades spread, and draw your knee back up to your chest, arms to the sky. Warrior three, extend the right leg back. Big breath in, big breath out. Softly bend into the left knee, step your right foot to the back of the mat, press it, warrior. Warrior two, big reach forward, big reverse. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, extended side angle, three breaths, big breath in, and out, and in, and out. One more inhale, one more exhale. Straighten the front leg, drop the left fingertips down, extend the right arm up, Trikonasana, triangle pose. Lift your chin, hold the inhale. Take the weight out of the bottom arm, exhale. Use the obliques, inhale, rise up. Pivot the left toes to the long side of your mat. Arms up, heart up, wide leg forward, fold, take it down and around. You guys, I'm already starting to get sad about the other side because I won't get to like see you. Except when I'm folded underneath my legs, staring at you from between my butt crack. That was meant in like a loving, endearing way. It turned out not so good. Okay, big inhale. Big exhale, walk your hands out in front of you, find the flat spine. Now pivot around into a skandhasana. So a deep lunge at the top of your mat, a big bend in the right knee, hands can come to heart center. Big breath in, big breath out, drop the tailbone down. You can either, if you're liking these chest openers, go for the bind around your back, drawing the knuckles down, or if you're really looking for more opening in the base of your body, I like reaching my fingertips forward and pulling the tailbone back and down like a counterbalance so a lot of weight goes into the groin. Big breath in, big breath out. Walk it back around to the top of your mat. Easy twist, lift the right arm up. Tuck the left knee under the right knee. Come into a cross-legged seat. This can be like crisscross applesauce. This can be more knee over knee feet to the sides of your body kind of deal. Your favorite cross, right leg is on top of or in front of the left. Inhale, arms to the sky. Exhale, twist to the right. Inhale, sit tall. Exhale, twist deep. Inhale, sit tall. Exhale, twist deep. Inhale, reach your arms back up to the sky. Exhale, walk your chest and fingers forward. Three breaths here. Big breath in, big breath out. Big breath in, big breath out. One more inhale, one more exhale. Inhale, sit up tall, reach your arms to the sky, active listening, ground your palms down to the top of your mat, ground into the right footprint, and find a standing split. Lift your left leg up to the sky, drop the forehead down. Inhale, lift the left leg up, 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 up. And then gently step the left foot to the back of your mat, Sweep your right foot up and through to the sky, and then chaturanga, either with a lifted leg or take it down. I'm not gonna chin stand today, but if it's there for you, it's there for you, go for it. Downward facing dog. All right, y'all, last side. Please, please, yoga gods that be, let me remember the flow. Inhale, lift your left leg to the sky. Exhale, bend your knees, stack your hips, either circle, or a nice big slow flip over. Inhale, lift the hips, lift the heart, big reach. Exhale, take it back around. Left leg lifts to the sky, straight and strong. Left knee to left tricep, create the shelf. The elbows come in tight. Can you shift the weight and lift the right leg up? Ground the right toes. 
Inhale, left leg up. Left knee to right tricep. Extend the left leg. Either keep the ankle lifted or ground the foot. Inhale, lift the arm, lift the heart. Exhale, ground the right palm. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, step the left foot through. Inhale, crescent warrior, rise up. Big breath in. Hands to prayer. Inhale, lift the heart. Exhale, take the hook of the right tricep around the outside of the left thigh. Lengthen the spine. Pull the belly up. Lift the back of the right knee. Open your wings. Big breath in. Big breath out. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, twist through the core. Inhale, lift through the crown. Exhale, reach the left fingertips back. Reach the right arm up. Take a big inhale. Lift your heart. Exhale, circle around. Find your easy twist. Big breath in. Really reach back. Exhale, ground the left fingertips, pull the hips back, drop the right heel, flex your left toes to your nose. Inhale, and exhale, drop the forehead. This is paralleling what we did at the beginning of class. Notice any differences. Inhale, and exhale. One more big inhale. One more complete exhale. Inhale, shift forward into your left foot. Crescent warrior, rise up, big inhale. Warrior two, pivot around, check your alignment, roll your shoulder blades down your back, then extend your arms out and squeeze the shoulder blades in. Inhale, reach towards, lift your palm. Exhale, reverse your warrior. Take an inhale, and then exhale, sink a little deeper in the left knee. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, extended side angle, left elbow to your inner thigh, right arm overhead. It's three breaths, your freedom to find your fullest expression. Big breath in, big breath out. Big breath in, big breath out. One more inhale, one more exhale. Straight, start to straighten the bottom leg as you drop the left finger to the right arm, lift the chin. Big inhale, big exhale. Engage the right oblique, rise all the way up. Pivot the left toes to the long side of your mat, arms up. And then your favorite arm variation, maybe it's a bind, maybe it's a strong T, maybe it's an eagle hooking the left under the right forward fold. Maybe wiggle side to side. Maybe you pull your chest through your thighs. Maybe you're working on your inversion. You ground your palms in line with your feet and then grab the crown of your head and then lift to the tips of your toes and then your legs swallow and then you're in a tripod headstand. Or maybe not. It's up to you. Take a nice long half or lift, walk the arms out in front of you. Open your arms out to a strong T. Rise all the way up. Warrior two, at the back of your mat. Gaze is over the right fingertips, hold for the inhale. Exhale, start to pivot around to your crescent warrior facing the back of your space. Big breath in, lift the heart. And exhale, press to the right foot, the left leg. Warrior three, three breaths. Arm can stay extended or they can come to heart center. Level the torso with the earth. Big breath in, big breath out. Big breath in, big breath out. One more inhale, one more exhale. Draw your left knee up and into your chest. Lift high, lift tall. Cross the left leg up and over the right leg. Left arm underneath the right arm. Press palm to palm if you have that space. Otherwise, hands to shoulders. Drop the tailbone. Big breath in. Big breath out. See if you can't wiggle your left leg around the back of the right calf. Big breath in. Big breath out. Firmly pressing palm to palm, spreading the shoulder blades. One more inhale. One more big exhale. Sink it down. Inhale. Knee to your chest. Lift tall. Exhale. Warrior three. Press it back. Take an inhale to lengthen. Exhale. Softly bend into the right knee and step your left foot to the back of the mat. Inhale. Press and warrior. Rise up. Exhale, warrior two, pivot around. Inhale, reach forward, flip your palm, reverse your warrior on the exhale. Inhale, rise up. Extended side angle, three breaths. Big breath in, keep the core strong. Big breath in, keep the core strong. One more inhale. On your exhale, start to drop the right fingertips down as you straighten the right leg. Tree Kanasana, lift your chin. Big breath in, big breath out. Inhale, use the obliques to rise all the way up. 
Pivot your right toes to the long side of the mat. Inhale, arms up, heart up. Exhale, your favorite. Wad leg forward, fold. Give it a sway, give it a shake, give it a shimmy, a twerk. Whatever makes you good, let the head go. <sighs> big breath in, big breath out. Inhale, find a nice long halfway lift. Turn your left toes out and find a skandasana to the top of your mat. Flex the right toes to the sky. Hands can come to your heart center. You can always extend the left arm out and the right arm up. If you like that variation, maybe it's even a bind here. Big breath in. Big breath out. Inhale, gently open the chest. And exhale, start to walk your hands back around to the top of your mat. Almost there, y'all. Easy twist. Lift the left arm up. At least there's no... Oh. And then tuck the right knee underneath the left. Come into your cross-legged seat. I was going to say there was no side plank, at least. But I worked it in at the beginning. So inhale, arms up, heart up. Exhale, twist to the left. Inhale, lift the heart. Exhale, big twist. Inhale, lift the heart. Exhale, big twist. Inhale, come back into center. Reach tall through the arms. Exhale, ground your hands down and walk your chest over that left thigh. Big inhale. Drop the head. Big inhale. Soften your breath. One more inhale. One more big exhale. Rise up, sit up tall and straight and strong, arms to the sky, and then ground your palms down at the top of your mat, press down into the left foot print. Inhale the right leg up for standing splits, forehead to your shin. Lift the right heel higher, press the torso closer to the thigh. One more inhale, lift it. Exhale, sit the right foot back. Sweep the left leg up through three leg down dog. And then your favorite, Chaturanga Dandasana. Lower down, whoop. Upward facing dog. And downward facing dog. Pedal your feet side to side. Take an inhale. And an exhale. Inhale, lift your right leg to the sky. Step your right foot to the outside of the right hand. Lower the left knee down and tuck the left toes. Take a moment here for lizard. You can lower your forearms down. This might feel good underneath your right thigh. For me, it feels too far. I get this weird, I say weird, it's just an uncomfortable arching my back in not the direction I'm usually trying to go for, which is long and straight and strong. So I like left hand grounded, right hand to the inner thigh, pressing the right knee open and feeling it in the outside of the right booty. Big breath in, big breath out. P.S. While I'm looking at these beautiful white roses, I'll give you two guesses who bought them for me. If you guessed me myself, you are correct. But it does remind me that this Sunday is Mother's Day. I'm not a mother, so this was just like a, you're cool, you deserve it. Buy yourself these roses gift. But if you've got moms, Get on it. Target, 14 bucks. Gently pull your toe bone back and down. Lower your forehead. Flex the right toes. Take an inhale. Get into that right hamstring. Exhale. Maybe you go for half splits or full splits or something in between. Really feel that hamstring opening up. One more inhale. One more exhale. Draw back into the right footprint. Tuck your left toes under. Lift the left knee up. Kind of spike your hips up. And then pedal your right foot all the way across. The front of your mat, lower your right knee down behind the right wrist. We're going to half pigeon. Inhale, lift your heart up. And exhale, walk your arms forward. Big breath in. Big breath out. Big breath in. Big breath out. One more inhale here. 
Feel free to stay here for the next few breaths or begin to walk your hands back up to your hips. Bend your left knee, reach around, cut your foot or ankle, bring your heel into your glute or actively kick into your arm for a count of five, four, three, sink the tub on two, one, kick harder. Now soften completely in the back leg. Let it go straight jello on you. See if you can't pull your heel a little closer in. Lift the heart, lift the chin, maybe the right arm lifts. Big inhale, reach back. And exhale, gently release, ground your palms. Tuck your left toes, find your three leg down dog, or just gently circle that right knee out. We'll all meet in a downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg to the sky. Step the left foot to the outside of the left hand. Big, deep, wide lunge. Gently lower your right knee down and tuck your toes. Again, it's your choice whether you want to lower your forearms or maybe your forearms lower to blocks. Or if you would rather ground through the right palm, take your left hand to the inner knee and then press the knee open. If you notice that you're, oh my God, step, crap, or pop. I am crazy town today. Give the head a circle. It's unlikely to fall off. Yeah. One more inhale. One more exhale. Just to keep things parallel on both sides, this is your second reminder that Mother's Day is on Sunday. Just one more. Gently inhale and gently make it around and down and back to a variation of half splits. Let's get into that hamstring since we just did hips and quads. Big breath in, big breath out. Big breath in, big breath out. One more inhale, drop that head, left, loosen the neck, and gently transition back into the left foot print. Tap the right toes under, lift the right knee up, and then kind of walk heel toe, scooch. Scooch feels like an accurate word. Your left foot over behind the right wrist. Wiggle those right toes back. Lift your heart to the sky. And walk your arms out in front of you. Find your half pigeon variation. Take an inhale and an exhale. And an inhale and an exhale. Take one more inhale and one more big exhale. Option to stay here. Or walk your hands back towards your hips. Bend the right knee, reach around, catch the right foot or ankle. Give the heel a pull in tight. Maybe you kick into your hand, lifting the heart for five, four, sink the tailbone, three, sink the tailbone, two, kick harder, one. Now go jello, pull the heel into the glute, lift the heart, maybe the left fingertips. It's okay if you roll onto your left booty cheek. That's what it's there for. I can't see you, you have nothing to be embarrassed about. And release, ground your palms, tuck your toes, shake that left leg out. For the record, you never have anything to be embarrassed about. With me, I live pretty earnestly, embarrassingly. Inhale, lift your toes, bend your knees, step, hop, or pull your feet to the outside of your hands, Buddha squat, drop your tailbone, hands to heart center. If you want to take this into a crow, you're gonna ground your hands down at shoulder distance apart. You're gonna vice grip your upper triceps with your knees. And then you are going to shift the weight forward before starting to draw the big toes to kiss at your booty. Take an inhale. And when you're ready, roll it all the way down to your back. Hug your knees to your chest. Circle the knees around. Y'all, I was so worried I would not remember that sun C on the second side. Whew. Every once in a while, I'm like, maybe I should write down a flow or like plan it beforehand. Today was one of those days where that thought crossed my mind. Circle your knees around, but I think we nailed it. And then hug your knees down into your chest. Lift your nose to meet your knees. Take a deep breath in. Really squeeze. And then release and extend your left heel to the end of the mat. Option here to do this again with a bent knee like we did at the beginning of class. Or to straighten the right leg. We have done a lot of hamstrings. Circle your ankle around. 
and the opposite direction. Use your right hand to guide your right bent or straight leg, doesn't matter, out to the side of your space. Take a deep breath in. And on your exhale, guide your right leg up and over to the left side of your mat. If you're using the straight leg variation, go ahead and see if halfway across your body, you can't switch your grip so the left hand catches the blade edge of your right foot before extending your arm. Big breath in, big breath out. I always feel like this would be a cool bird's eye view angle, like very angular, very straight, very strong. Open the heart. One more inhale. One more exhale. Sweep the right arm around the back of your mat. Feel that shoulder joint rotate. And then bring your right knee back into your chest. Give it a gentle squeeze. Maybe now you try straightening again. How does it feel? Maybe you take a little half happy baby. How does the groin feel? The back of the thigh. When you're ready, hug both knees into your chest. Wrap your arms around your shin. Seal your inner thighs. Lift your nose to your knees. And then release and extend the right heel to the end of your mat. Left knee into your chest. Give it a nice pull. Really compress your rib cage with your thigh meat. I'm really sorry, I just said thigh meat. You are not birds, cooked birds, chicken wings or thighs or any of that. Point and flex your foot if you've decided to straighten it. Maybe if it's bent, that is even a good choice. And then when you're ready, open your left leg to the side of your space. Feel the opening in the groin across the front of the hips. Keep that right hip bone grounded. Big breath in. Exhale, guide your left knee up and over to the right side of your mat, either with a straight or bent leg. Open your chest to the sky. Glue that left shoulder down. Sometimes you need to like open your right shoulder out in order to find that space. Feel free to adjust. Big breath in. Big breath out. Big breath in. Big breath out. One more inhale. One more exhale. Gently sweep your left arm around the back of your mat. Again, feel the shoulder joint. Bring the left knee back to your chest. Give it a squeeze, maybe a straightening, maybe a half happy baby movement. When you're ready, both knees to your chest. Lift your nose to your knees and your knees to your nose. On your exhale, it's bridge with hands to your sides or it's wheel with hands at your ears. Work those heels up towards your sit bones. Take an inhale and an exhale. Inhale, lift your hips and heart to the sky, full bridge or wheel. Open the heart. If you're in bridge, consider binding your hands together underneath your body. If you're in wheel, squeeze the inner thighs. You also have a choice to lift to the tips of your toes. Press your hip bones up, up, up. Straighten your arms. One more inhale. And then tuck your chin. Maybe walk the heels out. And then gently and with control, unroll your spine back down to the mat. Hug your knees to your chest. From here, if you love a shoulder stand, feel free to extend your legs to the sky and sweep your hips up to follow the toes. Alternatively, you can just take the legs up the wall, keeping the hips grounded, legs extended up. You can even move to a wall. I won't be mad at you. I think shoulder stand is serving me well today. And if you're feeling pretty balanced here, like you think you've got your hips stuck over your shoulders, your chin compressed into your chest, then maybe you take the same arm bind with hands interlaced, press the sides of your wrist down into the mat, lift your tailbone up to the sky, toes up to the sky, hold for five, four, three, two, it's really hard to talk like this, <laughs> and one, gently draw your knees back into your chest, Unroll the spine back down, maybe through death and pose. Oh. Take a moment here with softly bent knees to circle your hips around and knees around. Feel your lower back decompress into the mat. Open the knees wide, pull your knees to your armpits. Happy baby, big inhale, big exhale. Gently bring your knees back into your chest, wrap your arms around your shins, lift your nose to your knees and your knees to your nose. Take a deep breath in. 
Open your mouth, sigh it out, release, Shavasana. Let your heels extend to the end of your space. Open your palms to your sides. Get any last wiggles out of your head, of your neck, of your hips. Have your fingers and your toes. Take a deep breath in through your nose. Open your mouth and let it go. Take a deep breath in through your nose. Open your mouth and let it go. Take one last deep, intentional, filling and grateful breath in through your nose. And on your exhale, open up to possibility. Come back to your natural breath. Allow your body this time and space to slow down and to be still. Feel free to stay in your Shavasana as long as you'd like. And then when it serves you, begin with just a gentle movement. And make your movement a little bit bigger and longer. A big reach and a big release. Gently give yourself one last loving embrace. And then gently rock side to side or forward and back. Eventually, whenever you're ready, making your way up to a comfortable seat. Align your spine, shoulders over hips, head over heart. Inhale, sweep your arms up to the sky. And exhale, bring your hands to heart center. Take an inhale through your nose. And an open mouth exhale. I'm grateful for so many things. But one of the major things in my life that I'm grateful right now is community in this practice. So I thank you for being a part of this time, for making your practice a priority and allowing me this moment to be your guide. I am looking forward to seeing you again soon. Namaste. Y'all, thank you so, so much for being here today. Thank you. I hope to see y'all soon, maybe tomorrow morning at 6 a.m. If you want, I'll be around. Bye, Lisa. Bye, Alexis. Jenny, 500 words. You got this, girl. Bye, Charlotte.